Hi, I'm Charlie White and today I'm going to show you how to repair broken ceramics with Araldite adhesive. Okay, in today's toolkit we've got the Araldite which is a two-part epoxy adhesive. I've then got an old piece of Perspex which I'm going to use to mix the glue on. You can use anything from an old tin lid to a piece of card. Any flat non-porous surface will do the job. And then, not so essential but useful, I've got some sandpaper here to roughen up the edge of the ceramic that I'm gluing. And I've got some duct tape. The duct tape is useful as a way of keeping the two parts that you're gluing together whilst the glue dries. The other thing I use in my video is a scraper like this fitted with a Stanley knife blade to trim away the excess adhesive. If you haven't got one of these, you can use either a more conventional Stanley knife like this or just a kitchen knife. Basically any sharp implement you've got would do the job. So I'm actually mending today a broken bread bin. It'll be a fairly good surface for the adhesive to bond to, so hopefully it'll give you a good demonstration of what this sort of glue is capable of. Why am I using a glue like this, which has been around for decades, when there are other glues like super glues around now, which could do a similar job? Well, I'm gonna stick my neck out here now. Even though there are glues like super glue available that are designed to fix ceramic, I personally feel that two component epoxy resin glues like this are still the most comprehensive way to fix ceramics. Okay, so step one, I'm just going to very lightly brush the area that I need to glue with some sandpaper, just to sort of slightly roughen up the edges and clean off any residual dirt. Now, you have to dispense equal amounts from both tubes, so the way I do this is to squeeze lines of adhesive because that way you can more or less get the lines looking the same length and the same width. And now using the spatula that comes with it I'm going to mix it together which you need to do for about 30 seconds or at any rate until you're satisfied that you've thoroughly mixed the two parts of the adhesive together. Once you've done this, you've got about five minutes to apply the adhesive to the joints that need to be repaired before putting them together. Okay, I'm pretty confident that that's well mixed. Okay, I'm now gonna start putting the adhesive onto the joint. You want to apply a reasonable amount and you're meant to do it to both sides of the joint. If you apply the adhesive too thickly, you get a lot of squeezing out when you put the two joints together. If you don't put enough adhesive on, then you won't get a decent bond between the surfaces. You shouldn't worry too much about the adhesive coming out when you squeeze the two sides together because you can trim it off with a knife when it's partially dry. Right, I'm just going to apply some adhesive also to the other part that I'm joining. Just to make sure we get a really good bond. Okay, so that's that done. Got that much left. Now I'm going to just carefully position two parts in place and just press them together. probably see I have got a little bit of glue coming out of the joint but I'm not going to worry too much about that because it's a sign that I've got a really good bond and I can trim it away in a few minutes time. Okay I applied the glue about 10 minutes ago and it's just started to go off so now's a good time to trim off the excess. I've got my scraper here and you'll see it comes off really easily leaving a nice, neat join. Always keep your hands behind the blade when you're working with a sharp knife or scraper like this. So that's it, the job is now done. And once again, I've got a 
for fully operable bread bin. So I really hope you found this video useful. Details of all the tools I've used on the video are available at the end. If you like what you've seen today, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link here, where you can also access all my other videos.